Hi everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how you can use expressions within the tool library to automate manual tasks to increase efficiency. We've been able to use expressions in the tool library for a while now, but the problem has been that once we left the tool editing dialog, the value created from the expression stayed, but the expression itself didn't. Meaning, if anything changed which was referenced in the expression, the value would not update. The update we see to the tool library is that expressions now persist. So if we use one, like we have in this example, once we leave the editing dialog and come back in, the expression will still be there. Something worth noting before we get started is that we can tell if a parameter is driven by an expression by the FX sign next to it. Also, if we hover over the parameter, the tooltip will tell us how to reference it in an expression. So an example of something which could now be automated with expressions persisting is the leading feed rate. I like my leading feed rate to be 80% of my cutting feed rate. Previously, if I used an expression to automate my lead-in feed rate, it would not persist if my feed rate changed. Now, my lead-in feed rate will be directly driven from the cutting feed rate, even when I leave this dialog and go back in. So what we see now is when we create expressions within the tool library, them expressions cascade down to the toolpath dialog form. Another example being we can now create a single tool and create many other tools based from this tool. For example, in our step over value in our cutting data, if we're machining steel and the tool is used for roughing, the step over value will be derived from a percentage of the tool diameter. This percentage stays the same regardless of the diameter of the tool. So what we can do is simply create one tool, then change the diameter and all fields referencing diameter will update accordingly. It's also worth noting that a change to one of the driving parameters in the geometry tab will update all of the presets. You'll also notice my length below holder is referenced from my tool diameter. So a change to one field updates multiple fields accordingly making the tooling and cutting data process much more seamless and automatic. Thank you for watching the video. We hope to see you again next time.